Hello everyone, this is a video from uh, Evo's lab and uh, today we are going to look at a framework named Flink to deal with some stream data and in this tutorial I will uh, write a simple project to show how to uh, use Flink to uh, process a stream data uh, First, uh, you should uh, if you haven't uh, installed the Flink, you can install it from the GitHub and their official website. Uh, this virtual machine is a little. Uh, see, if you have Git, you can uh, use the Git clone with this uh, command and uh, use Maven to uh, clean and install it. Uh, we are not dive into too deep from uh, the uh, installing because I think uh, it's easy to install the thing from the official website. If you have any problem, you can Google it. And let's uh, put some eyes on how to build a. Uh, Simple project from the uh, thing. Uh, first, here is the uh, web page from the official website. It told you how to uh, easily setting up a uh, initial uh, Maven project from the uh, command line. So you can see here. Use Maven archetype. Uh, we copy this command and then choose the uh, root file you want to create the uh, uh, the project and then you can open a terminal here and uh, paste the command enter let's wait a minute uh, you can type in your group ID like uh, here I can type our uh, uh, lab name or lab name uh, elves labs elves eh? Elf. elves lab and and the uh, artifact ID uh, test two because I already have a test one uh, in previous. So version 1.1 .1. uh, package uh, points uh, ORG ah that's all let's make this simple okay. oh package one okay yes. So you can see after uh, all the uh, test nine, we have a folder, and the folder is uh, include a simple prompt file, and this file uh, include all the Maven uh, settings we need to create a empty uh, project. Let's open it and have a look. They have uh, the group ID and the artifact ID you typed uh, before. And here is the uh, dependencies. Uh, you can see uh, Flink, Flink Java, Flink Stream Java, and the uh, Flink clients. Okay, let's let's import this project to our uh, IntelliJ. You can open a new project. Find where it is. Test two. Okay. New window. You can wait a minute. Wait the A. Okay, finish. As you can see, after you uh, have that uh, command line, there is two uh, demo uh, empty frame. Then that's a framework uh, he has built for you. It's a skeleton for bench job and the stream stream job. And uh, today we are going to uh, look at a stream job. Uh, by the way, the batch job in Flink uh, definition, uh, Flink thinks the batch job is a special case of a stream job. So today we just look at the stream job. If you want to uh, look into more details and concepts about uh, the difference between, uh, between the two concepts, you can go to their website. They have the uh, introduce. Uh, okay, that's all we have is here. Uh, first, uh, we should have a uh, 
execution environment. This environment is uh, generated by the uh, static method named uh, get execution environment. After that, you can have your own uh, stream source and uh, let's, uh, let's write, write a stream source here. This is a project I have uh, right before, so we can just copy those to uh, the new project I showed you, so we can make the process faster. Or the video will be too boring if you look at me type those words. First, we should have a uh, uh, source stream. So uh, this is done by the by the end source function. Uh, you can have a new source function, and this source, this function should uh, implement the uh, source function provided by Flink. Let's see how this is constructed. Is pizza an older generator? You can see here. Uh, it's implemented a source function API. And what this uh, this function do is uh, generated uh, some folders and uh, based based on the uh, ID you gave and the ID is uh, initialized uh, as zero and uh, it's increased by one every step. Um, let's copy it to, 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 to okay. sorry. So now we have a generator, and uh, what we need is pizza order. Let's copy pizza order here. Copy. Uh, in this streaming uh, processing, we uh, need to uh, process a pizza order. So the pizza order I uh, created, uh, it have just have um, six uh, fields. Uh, first is the order ID and uh, the order place time, and the uh, delivered addresses, and uh, it's uh, uh, presented by magnitude and uh, longitude. And we uh, here have the pizza type, and it should be a number like uh, one, two, three, four. And uh, it's a uh, ID of pizza. Uh, and here is a status, status is string, and uh, which should be uh, in process and uh, shipped and uh, delivered. And this class is a simple. It's a uh, uh, simple as a Pojo uh, Java Java sim a simple Java object. This is uh, order ID, so we have the uh, order ID generator. It's uh, create some order IDs and uh, initialize uh, order uh, objects and uh, send it to the uh, source function. Uh, oh, we like a different generator. Oh, this generator is used to generate some data. This data generator is used to uh, automatically generate some data in the uh, uh, order class because uh, in the data generator or in the order generator, we just give the ID. And uh, the other five attributes need to generate it automatically, and this is wrapped in a data generator uh, class. So it's just a part of the generator. You can uh, you can ignore it if you don't care the details. Let's focus more on the uh, frame. And here we have the source, and uh, also in uh, if you have a file, you can. Use the file as your source. So you use what you like, but it's just a simple source. 
and then we need to uh, do some filter filter this string uh, for example if we want to uh, find all the orders that are delivered so we can use some filter function let me see here Here, yes. Okay. Uh, uh, in this line, we have a new data stream, and this stream is uh, provided by the uh, previous stream. Uh, it's uh, orders and uh, point filter, and uh, here you should give a filter function, and this function we should uh, we can handwrite it right now. You can have a new uh, we. If we have, we just want to shift uh, uh, orders so we can write a new function. Public. Hit filter. And here you should give uh, the order, pizza order. And the filter will of uh, discuss uh, some uh, or discard some um, orders that return the false value, and just keep the orders that can return right two value after this function so we if we want some orders that are only oh, that's the state of the ship so we can write just to return order the status the equals ship uh, yeah it's just simple like this let me check if it's right yes uh, let's have an override. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, okay. It should be a class. It should be a class, not a function. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, that's all we have, and then we can uh, invoke the uh, execute function. That's as simple as you can see. Uh, by the way, if you want to test uh, run this uh, project uh, in Maven or uh, in IntelliJ IDE, you should uh, edit your configuration. And gener it's generated automatically, and we can refine it. Okay, non class. And don't worry, we can add configurations. Uh, to uh, take this, include dependencies with provided scope. Because in your uh, POM file, you can see your Flink dependencies are, are labeled as provided. We need to uh, click that box if you want, you want to run it in your IntelliJ. So here is our stream jar. And it's running token. Okay. Uh, sorry, uh, my uh, virtual machine died just now, so I uh, restarted it and we can resume. Uh, here is what we uh, just gave. Uh, that's the uh, 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 running environment and the source stream and the filter. And that's all we did. Let's uh, run it, see what's the output.
you see it's uh, run successfully. Um, so let's print the stream so we can see it clearly. Uh, the first uh, stream is older, so we can print the stream. And after we filter it, we can see what uh, stream we have now. Okay, let's try it again. Uh, Okay, let's print uh, it uh, first as older prints. Uh, see what we have. Uh, you see, there is many orders. Uh, that's uh, some are uh, shipped, some in process, and some delivered. Uh, so let's do it again. We print the uh, filtered stream. So as you can see, the stream uh, now is uh, filtered that just uh, have the shipped uh, order. There is no delivered and in process order. Okay, that's all for the uh, simple tutorial. Thank you for watching.